Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm a crew member here at Baltic, and this is Huma Baba's Against Time. Huma Baba is based in Poughkeepsie, New York, and this is her first exhibition at Baltic. Baba was born in Pakistan 15 years after the nation was first formed through the partition of India. And so she grew up in a context in which there was a lot of discourse on division, separation, and mixings of culture. Perhaps because of this, Baba doesn't like the idea of pigeonholing ideas and materials. This idea of not placing things on one side of the line or another is very prominent in much of Baba's books, as can be seen from her varied and sometimes unexpected combinations of materials and wide range of inspirations. From classical sculpture to African art, mixed together with figures resembling those from sci-fi classics and 80s body horror, and so she often intentionally makes objects that could be from some far distant past, a future yet to be seen, or perhaps paradoxically, a bit of both. Over here, we have Cargo Tomb, which was made in 2005. After moving to Poughkeepsie, um, Barbara got a job in a taxidermist studio in which she started working with animal bones and skulls. It's worth noting that Barbara has no formal training in sculpture and instead learned how to you know, create a, a three-dimensional object through taxidermy. She started working with clay after a trip to Mexico in 2001. Here the clay resembles skin stretched over a styrofoam and wooden armature. The um, crumbling structure inside reveals the innards of the being which could resemble a collapsed building, perhaps in the time of conflict. The creature is lying horizontally on the plinth, which could call to mind a sarcophagus or tomb. The enamel spilled over the top as well, with Barbara being a huge fan of sci-fi, could call to mind the facehugger from Alien, or perhaps a Cronenberg-style monster. Over here, we have an untitled work from 2007. Feet are a recurring motif in Barbara's works frequently appearing in her pictures, paintings, prints, and sculptures. Here, the feet refer to a gory image from a film that Baba remembers seeing, in which a man is exploded, leaving behind just his high top sneakers and ankles. The feet here have been made of wire and clay, which have been cast in bronze, a material that Baba typically reserves for her outside commissions. Baba often finds beauty in that which has been designated as off-putting by others, both in a use of materials and selection of inspirations. This work over here is titled Ripley and was made in 2011. In her sculptures, Baba combines clay with unlikely combinations of foul materials, wood, plastic, fabric, chicken wire, rubber tires, and in this case, styrofoam boxes. Here we have two styrofoam fish containers, which are stacked on top of each other in a found wooden plinth. And around the back here, you have a picture of Sigourney Weaver as Ripley from the Alien films. Sci-fi has been a very persistent influence for Barbara. For example, one of her favorite novels is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which is considered by many to be the original sci-fi novel. Baba said of the novel, that it's the monster that she connects with, not Dr. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein is arrogant. He can't accept his own failure, and that's why he can't accept the monster's otherness. All forms of the monstrous and the grotesque are greatly inspiring to Baba. This is Castle of the Daughter, which was made in 2016. This interest in the monstrous and grotesque can definitely be found in Baba's sculptural work. She began working with cork in 2008 when a stationery store closed down near to her studio. She bought a few of the blocks that had been used for display and then started carving up the dense earthy material into heads and torsos. When she ran out of cork, she used some styrofoam that she had left over in her studio, making these cork and styrofoam hybrids that you see over here. The title, Castle of the Daughter, comes from a ruined castle in Afghanistan. In these works on paper, Baba uses clippings and images from wildlife brochures and calendars. In this case, you can see there's some elephants, wolves, pandas, dogs, and bears. She creates dense layers of information through the drawings of heads and skulls upon the images. 
And these images for Baba are meant to explore the lost connections between animals and humans. We've only touched on a few of Huma Baba's works here. It's a really great exhibition with so much more to see.